feet are parallel, knees are slightly bent, tuck in the hip and core is tight. Take a nice big inhale all the way up and exhale, hands to heart. Let's do that two more times. Inhale all the way up and exhale, hands to heart. And let's just hold our hands at heart center right now for a few moments. And I want you to set your intention for your practice today. It can also be for your day. And it could be a word, a phrase, an affirmation, or a mantra, whatever speaks to you. And just bring your intention right into your heart. And then let's place both hands on our heart right now. And let's just send our world and our communities, all of humanity love right now. So let's take a nice big inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, send out all your love, whether it's to your personal community, the world, to a certain person, just send your love out to whoever may be hurting today. It can even be sending yourself love today. Let's do that two more times. Big inhale through the nose. And open mouth, exhale, send your love out. And one more time, big inhale through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. And let's just stay quiet just for a moment. Just to honor our world and ourselves and our humanity. all processing everything in the world so differently, so many emotions. Just honor wherever you're at. And then let's take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, let's take our arms down, open them up into mountain pose and relax your shoulders down your back. And now take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, twist. Take your left arm forward, right arm is back. Keep your right hip forward to the front of your room. Getting a good stretch into the spine. And inhale back up to center. And exhale, twist. Right arm forward, left arm is back. Keep your left hip forward to the front of your mat. And inhale, bring it up. And exhale, a little baby back bend. So just take the elbows down, hips forward, chest up. And inhale, back to center. Hands through heart. Exhale, forward fold. Take yourself all the way down to your mat. In forward fold. And just stay here. You can even take your feet a little bit farther apart if you like. Stay here for a few moments. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. You can clasp opposite elbows and rock side to side, getting a good stretch into the hamstring, the glutes, the lower back. Your knees can be as bent as needed. We're still warming all of this up. And then gently just place your hands down to your mat. And let's place our left palm in front of the face, bend the left knee, right arm is up, and twist. So you're going to press away from the mat, so no dumping, press away. And you can gaze to your thumb, or straight ahead, or down to your hand, whatever feels good for you. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, twist. And then gently, let's switch it out. Right palm is down, left arm is up, bending that right knee, pressing away from the mat. Inhale, find length, exhale, twist. One more big inhale. 
And then slowly release your hand down to your mat. And gently come into halfway lift. So the back is flat, core is tight. Just getting a good stretch and it's almost like you're on the balls of your feet. So it's like you're going forward a bit, like almost on a ledge. So you get a good stretch through the hamstrings, the lower back, core is tight. And exhale, forward fold. And inhale, rise, nice and easy, all the way up into mountain pose. And exhale, hands to heart center. And now please grab your strap or your towel. And we're just gonna do a little stretching, a little more stretching. So make sure that your feet are nice and supported and that they are about hip width apart. And you have a little bit of tension on this strap or your towel. Take a nice big inhale and as you exhale, Take it over to the right side. You're just getting a nice side body stretch into the left torso, keeping the left shoulder open. And inhale back up to center. Take it over to the other side, getting a good stretch into the right torso. Good, keeping the right shoulder open. Back up to center, big inhale, and as you exhale, twist to the right side, just like we did earlier. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. And then back to center. And now, I want you to, I'm gonna do it sideways so you can see me. Take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, slowly start to bring the strap behind you. So you're stretching out your shoulders and your chest. So find the part where you feel it the most and just hold it here, getting a good stretch into the shoulders. Gently come down if you can, if you need to take your arms a little bit wider, feel free. And then gently come back up, hold for a few moments. And then inhale, bring it back up. And let's go all the way forward. This is great for shoulders. So this is called shoulder flossing. Take it all the way up, inhale. And as you exhale, slowly take it back and hold. So good for our shoulders. Just like we floss our teeth, this flosses out our shoulders. Good. And back up. And then gently all the way up and down. Let's do that one more time. I love to make sure that we get some good stretches into our shoulders, especially if you've been tense or sitting a lot or on your laptop or computer. So important to stretch out the shoulders and the chest and our back and slowly release so good now you can either double up your strap or your towel and feet are a little bit more than shoulder width apart bend the knees and gently take yourself all the way down let yourself hang and gently come all the way back up using your core we're doing this three times each side and if it feels good, if you want to hang out for a little bit in a certain area, feel free. Use your core to bring you back up. And breathe. When you finish three rotations, you're going to switch to the opposite direction. And this feels so good. Ah, very nice. Keep it going. And up. Last time. Take your time if you're still doing it or if you're hanging out, no worries. And gently bring it up. Beautiful. We'll all meet here. And now take a nice big inhale, bend the knees as you exhale, pinch at your hips. We're basically doing a half lift with our arms out, still pulling on your strap or your towel. Hold for three, core is tight, back is flat for two, and one, exhale, forward fold. Good, you can remove your strap, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold, and gently plant your palms, step back into high plank, and let's hold high plank for a moment. Core is nice and tight, wrists are right underneath the shoulders, hold for four, for three, 
Number two. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. And just start to pedal out your heels. Find some movement. Getting a good stretch into our hamstrings. And now let's inhale high up onto our toes. Getting a good stretch in our toes. Exhale, press your heels down to your mat. Two more times, inhale high. And exhale, press. Last one, inhale nice and high. And exhale, press. Beautiful. Now gently transition into high plank. Hold it here for a moment. And now shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Half of a push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Or cobra, shoulders down, collarbones open. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips nice and high. Beautiful. Big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Gaze to your hands. Let's walk our feet forward to meet our hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose all the way up. And exhale, twist, left arm forward, right arm is back, right hip forward to the front of your mat. Inhale, back up center. Exhale, twist, right arm forward, left arm back, keep your left hip forward. And inhale, back up center. And exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips, take yourself all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, core tight. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms, step back into high plank. And now shift forward and go through your vinyasa. You can always do your chaturanga on your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Or you can skip it and go straight to down dog. Take one more big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And gently come down into child's pose. Just get a nice stretch into the inner thighs, the glutes, the lats, shoulders. Take a few breaths here. Big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Give you one more inhale. And open mouth, exhale. And then press yourself up into tabletop. So wrists are right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. And core nice and engaged. Big inhale, and as you exhale, extend your right leg straight back towards your mouth. Good. And actually, you could even point the, all the toes down to the mat so you know that your hips are square to your mat. And now extend your left arm forward. Big inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. Engage the belly. Inhale, take it long. Exhale, knee to elbow. Hold. Inhale, take it long. Exhale, knee to elbow. Hold for four, three, two, one. Inhale, take it long and hold for four. Three, you got it. Two, and one, gently release. Good, other side. Tummy tight, big inhale. Extend the left leg back. Point all the toes down to your mat first. Make sure your hips are square. And extend your right arm out. Big inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, take it long. Exhale, knee to elbow. Good, inhale, take it long. Last one, knee to elbow, hold for four. Tummy tight for three, for two. And take it long. Exhale, take it down. So good. All right, come straight on to your knees. And I like to tuck my toes under for this. Grab either your towel or your strap. We're going to take the right foot out. Leave the left knee on the mat. Make sure this right foot is completely on the mat, so don't let the outside of your foot come off. We're gonna start working our core. So we're going down and up, down and up. Good. We're gonna do both sides like this. So we're working the obliques, tummy is tight. Breathe in, breathe out, good. You got it, this works 
those love handles right there. You're gonna feel this. Four more. Four, good. Three, you got this. Two, and one. We're not done this time. Side, back to center. You got it, breathe. So really make sure that that right foot stays on your mat, even as you're going off to the other side. Use your core, use those obliques. Breathe, good. Four more. Four, you got it. Three, last two. One more. And breathe, back to center. Good, let's switch it out. Right knee down, left leg is out, or whichever side you see. <laughs> Make sure that whole left side of your foot is on the mat and go, take it down. We're going first towards the foot. Core is tight. Use those obliques, so focus, and obliques are our side abs right here. So I want you to focus on pulling yourself up with that muscle. So important to visualize the muscles that we're working on so we can squeeze them. Be intentional, two more. Two, last one. Good, to the other side. Make sure that foot stays on the mat. Use your core, breathe, inhale, exhale. Good, you got it. Tummy is tight, breathe. Four more, four, you got this. Three, last two, one more. Yes, good, and release. Love it. You can remove your strap and let's just go straight into high plank. And here's what we're going to do. We're gonna shift forward, do a push up, press back up, down dog. Okay, so plank, push up, back up, down dog, and go. Remember, you can always do your push up on your knees as well. Feel free to do that. Get your whole chest to the floor. Back up when you're doing your push-up on your knees. Inhale, lift up. Whew. I'm still sore from Monday. Tummy tight. So whichever works for you, you can even do it this way, all the way down. Back up. Four more. Four, tummy tight. Three, last two. Two, one more. Four tight, breathe, and up, down dog. Good. So now I just want you to step your feet a little bit wider in your down dog, and you're gonna go to plank, and then tap the opposite shin, and go. Breathe, high plank, and then cross tap. Core tight, breathe. Good, we're warming it up. Tummy is tight. Good. Breathe. Four more. Four. Three. Almost there. Two. And one. Good. High plank. And now down to your forearms. Hold for four. For three. You got this. Two. One. Left right arm up. Left arm down. Now you can either have your feet staggered or stacked, either way. Lift the hips. You can even have your knee down. Okay, that's also a modification. Three, for four, three, two, one, back center. On over to the other side. Feet are staggered, four on top of each other, lift. Four, three, two, one, back to center. Hold for four, three, two, high plank. Hold for four, three, two, down dog. <sighs> Big inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale. And gently walk your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And rise, mountain pose. Woo! And here. So good. Now, if you have a strap, grab one. If you don't have a resistance band like this, a smaller one, don't worry, you can still do these. 
I'm just showing what we're gonna do. But you could do it with or without the band. So if you have the band, put it on. If you don't, don't worry. Okay, get nice and low. We're doing little squat hops. If you don't hop, it's okay. You're still getting the workout, staying low, tapping it out. Get ready and go. Take it out and in. Three. And if you're using the resistance band, make sure your knees stay out to your toes. Don't let your knees come in. If you're not jumping, you're right here. Still making sure your knees go out. Breathe. Breathe. Good. Keep going. Tummy tight. Breathe. So, I am, I think I told you in the beginning, <laughs> trying to nurse an injury. So I'm going to take it easy a little bit today. I get a little into it, then I forget, but then my body reminds me. So important we listen to our bodies. Breathe. Good. Four, tummy tight, three, two, and one, hold. Get that butt back there, pulse. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Press through your heels for four, three, two, hold. Lift that right heel off the mat. Pulse, 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 hold. Switch it out, left heel up. Pulse, 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 hold. Bring both heels up. Pulse for four, three, two, hold. Hands down for five, four, tummy tight, three, two, heels down. Woo, get it forward, fold. Stretch that out. If you have a band on, go ahead and take it off. <sighs> nice and sweaty. So good. Okay, grab your block or grab a pillow off of your sofa. Make sure to you grab your weights now. We're gonna place that block right in between our thighs. And let me explain why. When we have something, whether it's the yoga block or a pillow, you're squeezing it. So I want you to squeeze it like you wanna break it. What this does is it turns on the inner thighs, lower abs, and the glutes. So important. So we want to turn on the muscles. We don't just want to do a movement to do it. We want to make sure we're working the muscles. So squeeze it. Okay, chair squats. Weights are in your hands. Take that booty back. Inhale and exhale. Press through your heels. Squeeze. Inhale, exhale. You got this. Core is tight. Squeeze the booty. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze every time you come up. Four more. Four, three, two. Now take it down and pulse for eight, seven, stay low. Six, chest up, five, four, press through the heels. Three, two, down and up. Here we go, down, press up. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze that block. Squeeze that pillow. Two. One, take it back down. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold for four, three, two. Bring the arms up, squat and press, squat. Press it up. Inhale, exhale. You got it. Keep it going. I'm not going as low in my squat today, but I want you to get low. Good, keep it going. Inhale on your way down, exhale on your way up. Good, breathe. Press through the heels. Eight more. Eight, you got this. Seven, inhale and exhale. Six, five, tummy tight. Four, three, Two, hold this one up. Hold, good. Tummy tight now, just our shoulders. Right, left, breathe. Inhale and exhale. Still squeezing your block or your pillow. You got it. For four, three, two, both arms together. Down, press. You got it. Breathe, breathe. 
three, core tight, four more, three, two, back to singles, right, left, woo, working those arms, squeezing that block, engage the belly, four, three, two, double arms, press, 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 good, four more, four, three, two, hold it up, hold, Good, gently start to bring it down. Palms are facing down, hold for three, two, one. Woo, so good everyone. Go straight into lateral raises. Still squeezing your block. If two weights are too much, you can always go one weight at a time. Breathe out, breathe in. Core is tight, work those shoulders. Breathe, good. Last eight, you got this. Seven, squeeze your block. Six, five, tummy tight. Four, three, almost there. Two, hold this one up, hold. For four, three, two, and one, release. Woo! Now bend and go ahead and release your blocks. Keep your block, your blocks, your weights. Keep your block or your pillow. We're gonna do our vinyasa with the block in between our thighs. So, up to the top of your mat, inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Squeeze your block, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Either hop, a very light hop, not lightly, and go for your vinyasa. Squeeze the block in your up dog. Exhale, squeeze the block in your down dog. You're going to feel how that makes your lower abs engaged even more. Good. Let's do that one more time. Gaze to your hands. Now just float the feet. It can even be a little hop like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, all the way up into mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Get ready. If you don't want to jump, you can always do this type of walk back as well. But just squeeze the block and go. Try to land with the elbows bent if you're jumping back. And exhale, downward facing dog. Woo! Take a nice big inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And walk the feet forward. Slowly roll yourself all the way up. And now you can release your block or your pillow. Good work, everybody. Woohoo! All right, grab your weights. We're gonna be to the top of our mat. We're gonna start our series. It's legs and upper body. I'm gonna stay more in the middle so you can see me, but you start up at the top. And let's go straight into mountain pose with our weights. Core is tight, tuck the tailbone under just a bit. Plant that left foot, left, sorry, right foot, left knee is up, and lift, 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 lift. Breathe, good, find your balance. Keep the tummy tight. You're using your hip flexor, your quad, and your lower abs. Hold for four, three, two, and hold. Good, now bring the arms down, extend the left leg straight. Bicep curls. And now you're gonna keep your body nice and straight. No leaning back, keep the body straight. Use the abs. Breathe, good, for four, three, two, and one. Bring that knee back up. Gently transition into warrior three and row, back rows. If you would like a modification, take that back leg down and your back is still straight. Core tight, either way. Either one works. Just pull those shoulders back. Get the elbows up nice and high. Very good. Here's four, three, three, two, one. Take that left foot back, land in your lunge. Arms are up, you're gonna do a lunge and press. I'm gonna start you off and then stop only because of my injury, so take it down, press up. Inhale, exhale, and keep going. So make sure on your lunge you're going straight down and up, not going forward. Straight down and up. Breathe in on your way down. Breathe out as you go up. 
and breathe. Good. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Come down and hold your lunge. And now just your weights for eight. Press it up. Eight, seven, six, five. Tummy tight. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Hands to your heart. Take both weights into your left hand. Lean it forward, back row, single arm, back row, and go. I'm going to switch my position. Okay, so right here. You can also be down on that left knee. That's the modification. Pull, pull, pull. Keep that elbow close to the body. Three, or you're up off of that knee. I'm staying in the modification today. Four, three, two, and one. Release one weight. Take one in your hand and up. And this gets the side and rear delt, which is the shoulder. Breathe. Only go to shoulder level. You can also be up on that off of the back knee. Breathe. Beautiful. For four, three, two, and one. Take the weights down. Plant your palms on your mat or your blocks, core tight. Tap your left foot forward to meet your right, and go. Keep it going. While you're doing this, you want to stay low. Make sure your butt is down, your core is tight, you're burning the booty. So tap that left foot in and out. You have four more. Four, three, three, two, and one. Good. Now you're in your lunge. Launch off, standing splits. So that left leg is up. We're now doing Shiva squats. Left knee to the right calf. Take it down, press up. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, get nice and low. Make sure that the foot that is on the floor, the heel, stays glued to the mat. Breathe, four more, four, three, tummy tight, two, and one, hold it up, hold it up, breathe, good. We're gonna do something new today. Make sure your hands are planted. Come up on that toe that's on the floor, your right foot, bend that knee, hop it. Yes, so now your left foot is on the mat, right foot is down. We're gonna do some extra Shiva squats on this side. Down, up, down, up, yes. We're getting double Shiva squats today. Woo! Here you go. My hop wasn't too fancy today because of my hip. <laughs> but it's fun to just start playing. Three, four, three. You got this. Two, and one. Hold here. And forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your palms, step or hop back. Go through your vinyasa. So you can always go straight into down dog and skip the chaturanga, no worries. Big inhale, open mouth, exhale. Let it out, one more. Big inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale. And then gently walk your feet to your hands. Slowly roll it up. Woo! Excellent. One side down. We have one more leg to go. So, you need to grab a quick swig of water. I'm wiping off my sweat. Okay. And then to the top of the mat we go with our weights. So you're at the top. I'm going to stay in the middle. And arms are up. Core is tight. Tuck the tailbone under. Plant that left foot. Right knee is up now. And lift. Lift. Tummy tight. Breathe. Focus on one thing in front of you. You're using your quad, your hip flexor, and your lower abs here. Breathe. For four, three, two, hold. Gently bring the arms down. Extend the leg. Bicep curls. And keep it going. Yes. And try to lift the leg even a little bit higher. But don't let your back go back. You're keeping your body straight using your core. Four, three, two, 
One. Good. Bring that knee up. Transition, warrior three. And row. Back rows right here. Or you can have that back foot down and just row it up. Breathe. Breathe. Good. You got this. For four. Three. Two. One. Take that right foot down. Land in your lunge. Arms are up. Lunge and press. Down. Press up. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Good. Remember, go straight down into your lunge. Press up. Squeeze the glutes. Good. Breathe. You have four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold your lunge. Hold. Now just the arms for eight. Eight. Press it up. Seven. Tummy tight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Weights to the heart center. Put them into your right hand. Single arm back row and go. Breathe. You can also be down on that right knee. So whatever works for you. Keep it going. Good. Breathe. So you're either up or you're down. And press away from this bottom leg. So no dumping. Press away. Still using your core. For four. Squeeze. Three. Breathe. Two. And one, take it down. One weight down, one weight, here we go. Take it out to the side and lift. So you're either on your back knee or you're off the back knee. Good, keep going, breathe, breathe, breathe. You got this, just lift it to shoulder level. You have four, three, two, and one. Take your weights down, plant your hands onto your back. Tap your right foot to meet your left. And tap, tap, tap. Good, keep it going. You're staying low, engaging the core, squeezing the glutes. Tap forward and back as much as you can. Keep it going. You're looking good. Nice. Good, Sheila, keep it going, I see you. Good, for four, three, two, one. Good, stay back into your lunge. And now launch off, standing splits. Right leg is up. Shiva squats, right knee to the left calf. Take it down, down, up. Inhale, exhale. You wanna keep that booty nice and tight. These are killers, these are so good. Inhale, exhale. Keep this heel that is on the floor planted. Your whole foot is flat, four more. Four, three, two, one, hold this one up. We're gonna do that little hop. So bend that left knee, come up on your toes. Core is tight. Hop it, land. <laughs> I didn't land too lightly. And back to Shiva squats. Good, down and up. Usually you land a little lightly. My little twinge went off. Good, keep going. Breathe, breathe. Yeah, four more, four, three. Two, and one. Take that leg up, standing splits, and forward fold. So good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And now plant your palms, step back, go through your vinyasa, or just go straight to down dog, your call. If you're hopping back, please land with your elbows bent. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Gently come on down into child's pose. <sighs> and take a few moments of breath. Let me see how much time we have. Good. Few more breaths, big inhale through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. Good. And then gently press yourself on up. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna do some upper body, some core, and a little bit of booty. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna start with push-ups. But today we're gonna do push-up with a T. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. If you have your block, place your block in between your thighs. You can do your push-ups either on your knees or your feet. Here's what it looks like. You're gonna do a push-up. Open. Push up, 
and open. Okay? So either on your knees or your feet. Get ready. Core tight. We're going for about 30 seconds. And go. I'll show you on your knees if you go down. But you'll still come up on your feet to turn. Okay? So that's always the modification. Inhale and exhale. Yes, good. Breathe in and breathe out. And when we're doing this open, which is a side plank, guess what we're working? Obliques, core, tummy tight. And with the block there, it's more balanced when you open up to the side plank. Woo, five seconds. Good, and stop. So good. Grab your weights, grab your weights. Okay, here is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do curl, press, tricep extension, back down. Okay, so it's a hammer curl, so that means thumbs up. Hammer curl, press, tricep extension, back down. And go, breathe. So we're engaging all those upper body muscles, biceps, shoulders, triceps. Inhale and exhale and squeeze your block while you're there. Core tight. Keep the body straight. Inhale and exhale, you got it. Eight more. Good. Here's seven. You got this. Breathe, breathe. Six. You're getting all those muscles. Tummy tight. Five. Last four, you got it. Four, three, three, last two. One more, everyone, you got it. Press it up and release. Woo! Now bring your palms forward. Elbows in your side, palms are up. And let's do, work on the shoulders. This is good for the rotator cuff. Nice and easy. You don't want heavy weights. You want lighter weights with these. And if you do have some heavy weights, go slow. Doesn't take much to work the rotator cuff. You'll feel it, breathe. Good. And it's not a fast movement. Nice and controlled. Here's eight. Seven, you got this. Six, squeeze your block. Five, tummy is tight. Four, keep the elbows in. Three, here's two. And one, release. Woo! So good. We're gonna do that one more time through. Push up with the side plank, curl and press with the tricep extension, and then rotator cuffs. Okay, let's get right to it. Don't forget you can do your push ups either on your knees or your feet in three, two, and go. Inhale and exhale as you come up and twist. Really keep the core tight. Work the obliques on that rotation as you come to the side. Squeeze, inhale, and exhale. Good. Keep it going. Woo! You got this. You're working the core like crazy. Three, two, and one. Woo! Good. Grab the weights. We're back to curl, press, tricep. So hammer curl, press, tricep extension. Keep it going. So your bicep curls are with your thumbs up. So we already get it into position for the press and the tricep extension. Tricep extensions, keep going. You wanna make sure your elbows are into your side. Don't let your elbows go here. Elbows stay in. Good, six more. Breathe. Six. Squeeze. Five, you're almost there. Core tight. Four, last three. Squeeze the abs. Two more. Use your breath. Last one. Breathe. And release, bring it down. Good, palms face up. Rotator cuff work. In and out. Breathe. Good. 
Keep those elbows into the sides. Take it in and out. Nice and controlled. Breathe, last eight. Seven, you got this. Six, breathe, five, four, tummy tight. Three, two, and one, release. Woo! So good. Just shake out or circle out the shoulders. I like to do both directions. Whew. Just to release it up. Nice. All right. Now we're on our backs. We still have time for booty and some core. If you have your strap that we used earlier, please grab it. If you don't, not to worry. I'll show you the modification. And let's bring our block or your pillow down with you and have your weights handy as well. Okay, so what we're going to do first, legs are up. If you have the strap, the strap is right above the ankles. If you don't have the strap, you can still do it, but you really have to use control. Okay, so flex the feet. Toes point down to my face. And go, take it out and in. Working the outer thigh. So even if you don't have the weights, you can still, I mean the band, you can still do it. But you wanna make sure that you're not going super wide and crazy. You're keeping a good little amount so you're burning it out. And we're burning the booty and we're burning the outer thigh here. Core is tight here, so visualize your belly button touching your spine. Breathe, little to no arch in your lower back. Here's eight, seven, six, five, squeeze, four, three, two, hold it out, hold, four, three, two, and one, take it down. Woo, so good. So we'll take it off, that's for our next movement. I'm just checking without the band. Yes, you definitely still feel it. Just checking myself and you, you can still do it. Okay, so now, if you have a block, place the block underneath your right foot. If you don't have the block, it's okay. You're just right on the mat, okay? And your left leg is up. Grab your weights. We're going to do a press with the butt lift. So lift the booty, press up with the weights. So you're doing a chest press and a butt lift. Keep it going. Go, go, go. Breathe out as you come up. Breathe in as you go down. Good. Really press through the foot that's on your mat or the block. Squeeze. Four, three, two. Hold it up. Hold it here and now just pulse the booty. Up, up. Tummy tight. Three, four, four, three, two. Hold it up. And gently release. Good. Very nice, let's switch to the other side. Left foot is on your block or just straight down onto your mat. Right leg is up and go. Press up and down. Squeeze the booty every time you lift. Breathe. Core is tight. You got this, keep that foot that is on the floor planted. There's four, three, two, and hold, now just the booty, just the booty, breathe. Squeeze, 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 four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, and release. Woo, -wee. talk about burn. Grab your strap again, if you have it. If you don't, you have the option to do it without, or do another set of hip thrusts, both feet on the floor. Your call, okay? Get ready, tummy tight, and go. Either way, you're doing the outer thighs, or you're doing the hip thrusts. If you're doing the resistance band, make sure that you keep that resistance, don't come too far in. And point those toes down to your face, flex those feet. Good, breathe. And if you're doing hip thrusts, keep those feet planted. Get those hips up nice and high. Squeeze your glutes every time you come up. We have eight, seven, six, five, tummy tight, four, three, two, hold it out, hold, hold, 
four, hold your butt up or hold your legs out for four, three, two, and one, release. Woo! I felt those bad boys. So, so good. All right. This doesn't want to come off me. <laughs> so feet are on the floor now. And you want to try to bring your heels close to the glutes, not too, too close, but we're going to do heel taps. So engage the belly, scoop the belly in, take the shoulders off the ground, and reach for the heels. You're working those obliques again, side to side. Breathe. The gaze is up. Think of an orange or a grapefruit in between your chin and your chest. So you don't want to be way out here. You don't want to be way in here. Three. Good. Reach, reach. Eight, seven, six, five. You got this. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now take your block or your pillow in between your feet. Legs are straight up. We're doing toe touches to the opposite foot. And go. Reach, reach, reach. Good, you got this. Three. Keep it going. We're just checking our time. Okay. Breathe. Good. Tummy tight for eight. Seven, six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Boom. One more set of each, and then we will stretch it out. Doing so good. So we're back with our feet on the mat. Heel taps, shoulders off the ground. Reach, reach. I always feel these. If the head bothers you. You can always cradle it for a bit so you're taking your elbows down instead of your hands. Tummy is tight, so that is an option. Here's six, five, four, tummy tight, three, two, and one. Woo! Grab that block or the pillow, take those legs straight up and reach opposite and opposite foot. And scoop that belly in. Breathe out as you go up. Try to reach as far up to your hand as possible. Good. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna crunch, 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 crunch. Elbows out. Breathe. You got this. Burn it out. Tummy tight. Little to no arch in that lower back. Squeeze the core. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold this one up. Hold. Hands up for eight, seven. You got this. Six, five, four, three, two, and release. Woo! Do a nice, long, good morning stretch. Stretch out the core. Oh, that was good, that was good. And now start to bring your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Good, feels so good on the spine. And then take your hands out to a T, nice big inhale, gently exhale. Take your knees to the right side, getting a good stretch into the spine. <sighs> so good. And then back to center. On over to the other side. Feels so good. And then back to center. And now we're going to Clasp the back of our thighs, roll yourself up. Good. And we're going to do a seated forward fold. I'm going to do mine restorative. So feel free if you would like to do more of a restorative forward fold, you place the block or the pillow right underneath your knees. 
or you're just completely straight long onto the mat. Make sure that your sit bones are on the mat, which is the get rid of the, the meaty part out of the way, so our bones are on the floor. Inhale it up and exhale forward fold. And just relax, breathe through the stretch. So good, just start to send your body love and gratitude for what it just did for you this past hour. So good for the mind, the body, and the soul. Take one more big inhale. Stay for your exhale. And then just gently start to roll yourself up. Oh, here comes Tiffany. She wants to say hello. <laughs> and now let's just take a little twist. So take the left arm back, sit up tall, and just gaze behind your back shoulder. Just a small little spinal twist, which still feels good. And back to center, let's switch it out. Take our right hand behind. Inhale, find legs, exhale, twist, gaze to the back of your shoulder. And gently back to center. Beautiful, let's go ahead and cross our legs. And sit up nice and tall. Let's take a nice big inhale. And exhale, hands to heart. And let's just take a moment again, close your eyes, settle in, go back into your heart space, go back to your intention that you set at the beginning of class. Does it look differently? Just start to honor yourself, giving yourself love and gratitude for what you just did. And once again, sending out love to our beautiful world and to all human beings. That we all may feel equal and loved and accepted. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for showing up for yourself today. The light and teacher in me honors the light and the teacher in you. Thank you so much and have a beautiful Wednesday. Namaste. There